I am going to forewarn you. We're doing some of the HP tuner stuff here. And if you're not into wiring or HP tuners, this is going to be a very boring video and you may want to just skip it. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to kind of show you how to wire one of these suckers up and do the basic amount of stuff to fire up an LS. All right, I was going to do some long strung out video showing me how I dismantled this whole fuse block and then decided that, well, it was boring. So what I'm going to do, uh, like this is for the motor. As you can see, this is the, the fuse block, like you unscrew this from the back of the fuse block of uh, whatever, like a pickup truck. And like this video is not about, I don't thin my harnesses because really I don't care that it's kind of big and bulky. I just more function over beauty, I guess. Um, but anyways, what I'm going to do is I'll show you how this works. Technically, all you got to do, really, they have all the info up on the web. You just got to go to Like this website, lt1swap.com. Uh, it's got all the info, but basically what it does is uh, it shows you your fuse block. So it kind of labels it, you know, it goes A, B, C, D, F up and then 1 to 12 across. And then it kind of tells you what each pin, what each wire does. So if you look here, I kind of did that A, B, C, D, and then here 1 to 12 across. So this is like 1, 2, 3, 4, kind of that jazz. A, A1, A2, A3, like this one here, I think is something with AC. You don't need it. You kind of keep boogieing along. And I think this one was like the fuel pump. Um, I'll uh, put a link up showing on this grid which ones you need to keep and not. Uh, it depends on the year. That's where you want to check that website. I will put a, a link to it. I think I can do a link. Or I'll just put something right here, the website right there. But either way, it basically gives you this mapping. And from there, because I'm doing drive-by wire, so it's a little different. But the earlier stuff, it would basically have, it looks like this grid. So it goes here, so A1. So if you look, A1, nothing, nothing. A3 is air conditioning. Don't need it. Fuel pump. Want that one? Oh, this is diesel, so that's nothing. Then it gets to this light green. So there's really nothing on the A pins that you'd want to use. Uh, you know, keep going down. Pink, positive, air conditioning, fuel pump, really. <clears throat> Whatever. It's pretty straightforward. So again, I'm just going to give you a link of basically the pinout of this. Uh, it'll kind of say roughly what they are. It'll probably be for the earlier stuff, you know, like 99 to 2000, 2002, I think, before it went to drive-by-wire. Um, what I do is I basically split my stuff all out. So I, uh, I, these are from the pins out of here. I group them together. So on this little mess of wires, what I have in here is my driver's coil, uh, like all the coils on the driver's side. And then I have my uh, injectors. I shouldn't say all the coils, there's only one coil, but all the injectors. So this is like, this will be fused as uh, driver's side coil injectors. Then this one is passenger side coil and injectors. And then this one here is like my O2s. So I kill the rear O2s. Like if you see this pin, there's some here. Those are actually just the rear O2s. I'm not using those. So this will be a fuse for my front O2s. This one will be all my sensors and uh, my throttle for my drive-by wire. Yeah, that's right. Drive-by wire. So that's going to be another fuse. I'll show you later how I do it, but normally all I do is I buy one of these fuse box, so it's like Dorman. I get it from Rock Auto. I guess that's the part number. 
it's just a four blade fuse nothing fancy I uh, so basically these will stab into there so that breaks down these four um, I know there's a lot of wires in there but if you go through the book it'll say everything like one of the wires here is just for your for using cruise control there's some there but you don't need that there's a single ground one's a fuel pump the purple is a start wire the orange is a constant power so that's like battery power so that one I usually just do an inline fuse to wherever it's got to go like I usually I think I patched into the back of the alternator or something I'll show it when I actually do start wiring the this into the truck or the car which is called the C100 which is like this black plug there's like this there's one of these plugs which is like garbage you don't need it there's this smaller plug it's actually just like for 4x4 stuff I don't care usually I just snip them and then tape them into the harness they're not used for anything out of this plug uh, these are the only ones I use out of it. Like there's the uh, brown and white, so that's the uh, message indicator light. Uh, the green and white, that's my VSS, so that's my speed sensor. Uh, because I'm doing the manual tranny, I'm just going to input that in. The gray, which one is it? There's a couple of them here, but these are just for the cruise control. So again, if you're not, if you don't care about the cruise control none of these apply really all you care about is the vss if you're using an electric tranny the message indicator light and i don't care but the white is your tax signal and the rest of it yeah you don't need again the same goes for this plug but there's a lot that i'm not using uh, i may snip out some of the stuff for the air conditioning stuff because i may put air conditioning in the car but again i'm gonna give you a link I will do a little thing for you there, what wires you should keep, but the big thing is that plug, the link to this website will help you. Um, yeah, the only other thing I'm going to show you is because the trucks had a mechanical fan, when you do HP tuners, you can go in and uh, um, turn on like your electric fans uh, I'll show you what I do in HP tuners um, right now I'll show you how to do that pin the plug so I just gotta get this cover off it's this blue plug is uh, is the one that you want to put your electric fan on Okay, so if you're looking at the diagram, which doesn't really matter, but if you look, there's a 42. I'm looking for pin 42, and it's for low-speed fan control. So if you look on the back of these plugs, they're actually numbered. So somewhere we're going to have an empty spot. To figure out where we are here. I said 42. That's 40. It's going to be on this side here. So 42. So this one here. So what you got to do is you got to get this clip off, this cover off. So all you do is you just push the side. That kind of pops from loose there. There you go. You have all your pins. What I have is I just have a spare plug that I've cut off. So all I do is I just always grab one of these suckers. I just pull it out. There you go. So now 42. Kind of just have to push that through. Kind of clips in place. There we go. Slam that back on. There. So now this is going to run the relay for your electric fan. 
with that said, you still have to sign into HP tuners and uh, uh, turn on the electric fan because by default on the trucks, they're not turned on. All right, what you're looking at here is my basic rig for uh, programming a PCM off the vehicle. All you need is just basically the like one of these plugs, uh, well, it's basically the blue plug. That's what mine is, and you just pin in for the like you need power for it, and then the ODB port. So that's what I got. Uh, you don't need to do this; like you could do it in the vehicle, but I have that this to an ODB port, and then from there I have just a, some brick computer brick that supplies 12 volt for the PCM. I have it just running into my HP tuners, which then goes to my laptop. Uh, if you don't have this, all you got to do is you just need your ODB port in the car, and you can do this in the car. This is just so I don't need the vehicle to unlock a PCM. Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to state that I am no professional at this thing, but uh, normally what you all what you would do is you would just click uh, read vehicle, click on read. I don't have my cable hooked up, but you would do a read. It'll do all that stuff, and it'll ask you to save the file. Save your file. Good to go. Um, after that, I'll just open the file here. After you get your file, you'll reopen it. It'll ask you to save it to a name and stuff. Um, you'll want to you see this screen. You'll want to go to System. Uh, under General Security, this is what's telling your computer that you can't start. So you want to just turn your bats off. And because I wired for the electric fans, because I got a truck PCM, I turn on the fan, and then I just set my your on and off temperatures in here. So I'll tell it to go on at 200, off at 190. I just blindly just program the second fan. If you want, you can pin for a second fan if you want to do a two-stage fan. You just have to go over to AC and then tell it that your recirculating door is your second fan. Uh, from here, I just go to engine. I disable the EGR here. And then I go into the engine diagnostics, and this is where you pretty much just kill the rear O2s. It's about all I do. I do this, uh, the EGR and the EVAP. So I just, this turns the rear O2s off. And by clicking here, this just turns off your message indicator light so you don't have a check engine code come up. So that's for that one, and then this is for the passenger side, the O2 is there. So I'll do that one, and do this one, this one, this one. So that gets rid of that. Now I usually go look for, see how this EGR stuff, I kill that stuff too, it's just I don't know, have it. So I'm not using it, so there's no point of it being in there. We'll probably throw a code, is my guess, if you're not using it. And then the EVAP, because I usually, on the intake, I uh, I usually pull that thing out and plug the hole. So that pretty much covers this. I know there's another EVAP somewhere in this, but... Anyways, for the most part, that, that's it. That'll get you going. Um, I would pretty much at this point, you go right vehicle. But you have to remember to do a right and tire. So now you would just do a complete right. Again, not working on my cable. It takes a little while. But you have to do a full right just for the VATS part. After that, you can do just like a calibration right. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much... It that I do in HP tuners just for a basic unlock, anyways. Okay, well, you can see, uh, so I got my TAC module and my fuse box mounted. Uh, I don't know, looks okay, it's not bad. I still have to mount my ground, and this is my start wire, but I don't have my wiring harness yet, so I can't tie that into anything. The plug I've kind of left. Normally these I don't need. I'm not sure if I will actually care to go in to get my tack wire or anything else. Otherwise I'd probably just tape these into the harness. 
but uh, when you come down here you'll see these are my relays they're not wired in yet uh, the one is this is my fuel pump and this one uh, I can't find it anyways the other one for my fan control is in the in the harness here it's in here but I can't find it either way the one is my um, fuel pump the other one is for my electric fan so and I do have that in the, the description somewhere what which one does because I think it's the positive side of the relay is that's what this one's gonna this wire is gonna trigger for my fuel pump and I think the one is the ground if I'm wrong I'll correct it I'll put it in there say which one's which for the uh, fan and the fuel pump but for what I'm doing as a driver I don't know looks clean enough I don't know I'm pretty happy with it uh, yeah thanks for watching